Greetings and blessed day to you once again, people of God. It's the Revelator once again, and hoping the grace and the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ has been with you throughout all your times of worship. We thank the Lord Jesus who has managed to give us hope and faith in his word of life. I'm not going to be giving you much of the brief recap of what we covered last time, but just for the sake of briefing you up, last time we focused on the deepest lecture in the area to do with the sexual intimacy. And we also explained about the sexual discipline, which was the other version of that presentation. And today, I have a very complicated presentation, which I need you to fully concentrate and hear as I will be teaching. Today, we want to focus on the dimensions of realms in the spirit the dimensions of realms in the spirit and inside the dimension dimensions of realms in the spirit we are going to be focusing on the superior spirits of god as i'll be teaching i need your attention and focus as i'll be getting assisted by scripture relevance for the sake of the unfolding of this mysterious revelation so for us to understand more on the dimensions of realms in the spirit and the superior spirits of god let's get into scripture in the book of matthew chapter 17 verse 2 and it reads and was transfigured before them and this was jesus this scripture that I'm reading here is after Jesus has gone on a mountain to pray. But upon going to this mountain to pray, he has selected the most closest disciples to him, to him, which were John the Revelator, Peter the first chosen apostle, and James. These were the three most loyal and most closest disciples to Jesus, even from the beginning when Jesus was choosing disciples these were the disciples that he he chose entitled as the fishers of men and Jesus is now on the prayer site on the mountain and there is something that was supernatural that happened there was a transfiguration that happened in the spirit this was a manifestation of the glory of god that manifested on jesus but this manifestation there was something mysterious about this manifestation there were certain individuals or certain spiritual beings that appeared on that transfiguration let's read and his face did shine as the sun and his raiment was white as the light and behold there appeared unto them moses and elias who is elijah taking with him so these three transfigured but the mystery that is here on the dimensions of realms in the spirit is on the other two spiritual beings that transfigured in that very hour the transfiguration of not only jesus but moses and elijah i need you to understand that if we go to the book of jude we will learn that when moses died up to this very hour no one can actually detail us with enough information even the scriptures do not detail us about how moses actually died but the scriptures say moses body was buried by god on the mountain this was according to narration let's go to the book of jude and find out what happened to moses that is transfiguring in the new testament in the book of jude chapter 1 verse 8 
and it reads, and likewise also these filthy dreamers defile the flesh, despise dominion and speak evil of dignities. They speak evil of dignities. Let's hear who are these dignities if they are not the superior spirits of being. Who are the superior spirits of God that I have mentioned earlier in the subtopic? Yet Michael the archangel, when contending with the devil, he disputed about the body of Moses. Guest not bring again him a railing accusation. And the Lord rebuked thee. Meaning that the scripture is talking about the archangel from heaven, Michael, contending with the body of Moses. We cannot know whether this was a physical body or a spiritual body, but what gives us evidence that this was a spiritual body is that the archangel Michael is a spiritual being from heaven and he is the one that was wrestling and contending for the body of Moses meaning that there was a contention in the spirit between the devil and the archangel Michael for the body of Moses and in the scripture that I read earlier in the passage of the transfiguration we learn as Moses reappears again in the transfiguration but here is the mystery people of God in the dimension of realms in the spirit it is a revelation that God has given me that there are dimensions that exist in the spirit between life and death and between death and the afterlife and between the afterlife and the eternal life Moses is said to have been buried by the Lord on the mountain but the same Moses is appearing on the transfiguration in the dispensation and in the dimension of Jesus in the New Testament and the same Moses whose body was being wrestled for by the archangel Michael and Lucifer the devil is the same Moses that is appearing on the transfiguration so where does Moses dwell in the spirit because it is evident that Moses is not yet in heaven at that particular time because we have not reached the last hour neither have we reached the judgment day but what gives us assurance that Moses is existing somewhere is his appearance on the transfiguration not forgetting that there was a moment that Moses body was wrestled according to Apostle Jude in the book of Jude chapter 1 verse 9 meaning that there is a dimension in the realms of the spirit which is not in this practical life that we are living right now which is not in the dimension of those that the book of revelations talks about the dead standing before the lord meaning that if there be those that will remain dead it's another dimension in the spirit in the realms of the spirit but there is another realm in the spirit in which moses exists and lives in the spirit there's a scripture in which Lazarus and the rich men they both die and when they meet in a certain dimension that was defined as, par as paradise according to the parable that Jesus had given there was a gully that divided them that differentiated two dimensions in the spirit before heaven and Abraham was also there in the spirit another superior being this was not heaven this was signified as paradise paradise is a waiting place for those that are the anointed ones of God if you go to the book of revelations chapter 6 and you read that whole passage there is a passage which talks about those that were anointed and that have already left this dimension in the spirit and they are living in another dimension in the realms of the spirit and they were crying before the lord asking the lord how long must we wait for those that have persecuted us and the lord answered according to the narration of john the revelator and the lord answered saying until those that should be among the chosen can also be persecuted and they also get to be delivered to that same dimension in the spirit meaning that we have many dimensions in the spirit 
in the realms of the spirit which exist after death meaning that there is a dimension that exists those who die before they are not born again meaning that if you die this very day before you are born again there is a dimension and a realm in the spirit that you exist but you exist among the dead and there is a dimension that jesus explained when he talked about let the dead bury their own dead he was talking about a dimension of, of the dead who are still existing in this life but yet they do not exist in, a, in another dimension of the living and the dimension of those that are living is the dimension of those that have accepted jesus as their lord and savior and it is also the dimension of those that have received the word of god i hope someone is understanding what i'm saying moses appears on the transfiguration he has already died and he has been buried on the mountain by god but he appears on the transfiguration let's go to another individual another superior being that also transfigured on that same mountain on the transfiguration who was elijah elijah let's see let's go to the book of second kings chapter 6 verse 17 and elijah prayed and said lord i pray thee open his eyes actually let's go to the book of second kings chapter 2 verse 10 and he said thou has, has asked a hard thing nevertheless if you see me when i'm being taken from thee it shall be as you wish and this was elijah telling elijah before elijah was taken and what happened to elijah afterwards and it came to pass as they went on and talked that behold there appeared a chariot of fire and horses of fire and parted them both asunder and elijah went up by a whirlwind into heaven at that very moment elijah is taken by a chariot of horses and is taken to heaven that is what the scripture is saying but the same elijah is appearing in another realm alongside moses moses did not go to heaven moses was buried on the mountain by god and moses appears on the transfiguration alongside elijah that was taken by the horses of chariots in the scripture in the book of kings clearly states that elijah was taken by the horses of chariots to heaven but this same elijah appears with moses on the transfiguration meaning that elijah after he was taken by the horses of chariots he is able to function as a superior being in the spirit in different dimensions at the same time category number one of the first dimension that elijah lives is in the heavenly places and elijah is also able to transfigure alongside moses in another realm which is another waiting place for the saints of god the anointed ones which await the last hour which is the judgment hour when jesus shall come again for the second time to select those that he has chosen and to condemn those that have forsaken him in this life I hope someone is understanding what i'm saying here let's go to second kings chapter 6 verse 17 which tells us about elisha the one that received the mantle of elijah he has now been anointed and he's taken over the mantle of elijah and elisha prayed and said lord i pray thee open his eyes that he may see and the lord opened the eyes of the young man who was gaius the servant of the prophet and he saw and behold the mountain was full of horses and the chariots of fire around about elisha the reason why elisha prayed for gaius spiritual eyes to be open so that he could see another dimension in the spirit was because there was another army of god that could only be seen by the spiritual eyes which was surrounding the realm in the spirit and the territory and surrounding the men of god and the army that was around elisha that had been sent against the prophet could not see the army of god in the spirit which was in another dimension of another realm in the spirit meaning that 
in this dimension that we live there are so many other dimensions that exist that you can only partake of only if you have been given the liberty to live in that dimension of realm in the spirit dimensions that manifest the armies of god at one time jesus tells peter know ye not that i have got power to ask my father to send a legion of angels he was not talking about the legion of angels from heaven he was talking about the legion of angels that are already here that can only be seen in the spirit and they cannot be seen in the physical people of god i hope someone is understanding that there are many dimensions in the spirit not only this dimension that you breathe in and out living inside this mortal body there is another dimension in the spirit which you will be given a chance after this life if you have given your life to jesus christ and that dimension in the spirit is a dimension listen to me child of god there is another dimension in the spirit which is the dimension of superior beings a dimension that you cannot see with your physical eyes a dimension in the spirit that exists to those that have believed to those that god has chosen i hope someone is understanding what i'm saying a dimension which jesus existed even after he had been persecuted even after he had given up his spirit after he was persecuted and crucified before he ascended back to heaven there was a dimension that jesus existed for three days before he resurrected a dimension that jesus tells mary magdalene after resurrecting and he says do not touch me for i have not yet ascended to my father and your father and to my god and your god in heaven that dimension in the spirit was not in heaven it was another dimension in the spirit we understand that during the three days jesus did not only live in another realm of another dimension that i'm explaining right now he also went into another dimension deep down in hell and artists and he was able to go and preach to the lost captives it was another mission that jesus had in the spirit during the three days before he, he he resurrected before he ascended back to heaven which is another dimension before he resurrected again and appeared to his disciples which is another dimension in the spirit i hope someone is out there is understanding the level for this presentation that there are many dimensions in the spirit as jesus is about to ascend back to heaven let's go to another scripture which proves another profound revelation in the spirit very very i say unto thee when thou thou you thou you were young and walked whichever you wanted this was another scripture that jesus wanted to give to peter about the manner in which peter was going to die but in the process of that explanation after having explained the manner in which peter was going to die in form of a prophetic word peter turns about seeing the disciple whom jesus loved the most following we all know who was the disciple who jesus loved the most and that disciple whom jesus loved the most was john the revelator which also leaned on his breast at the last supper and the lord said to, to peter sing him and say if i will that he remains alive till i come what is that to you this was jesus spoke after peter had insisted on asking about the fate of john the revelator and jesus says what is it to you if i will let him live and remain alive until i come back then this went this saying went around 
which prescribed that John the Revelator would not die. Yet Jesus had not said that he would not die. But he had said, if I want him to tarry till I come back, what is that to you? I want you to understand that up to now, of all the disciples whose manner of death, whose manner of faith is written, only John the Revelator is not known where he exists in the spirit. Though it is written that he was exiled by the Roman politicians, but no scripture actually gives us evidence about how John the Revelator dies. And earlier on, Jesus has hinted to Peter that what is it to you if I make this one remain alive, if I make him tarry, if I make him lean back and remain back alive before the last hour. Meaning that John the Revelator does not only live in spirit, and survive eternally he lives also in the revelation of the word that he spoke that is everlasting peter's fate is written he was crucified upside down and the other apostles that died through being beheaded that died through being whipped that died through being pulled while the horses were trampling on them but John the Revelator, after being exiled by the Roman politicians, is the only disciple whose fate is not written in the scriptures. I hope someone is understanding what I'm saying. There is another dimension that John the Revelator lives in the spirit. It is not this dimension of this practical realm. It is not the dimension of heaven because there is still another dimension in which Jesus shall come in the spirit and the dead shall be made to resurrect in another dimension and in another realm in the spirit and there is another realm in the spirit where the dead shall be judged and they shall be tormented in the everlasting fires and what shall be tormented in the everlasting fires is not this flesh they won't be carrying this flesh but they will be carrying another body that shall be tormented in the eternal fires of hell and there is another dimension that those that are chosen shall reign with christ in the spirit again so people of god i hope someone has understood the dimensions of realms in the spirit this is not the only dimension that you live right now if you are wherever you are i want you to raise your hands as i pray for you so that the lord opens your spiritual eyes and you look and you start looking at the things beyond your flesh Start looking at things beyond the canal. Start revising spiritual things beyond. And understand that there is another realm. There is another dimension. And there are many dimensions in the spirit. Start accepting that there are superior spirits of those that God has honored in the spirit. The likes of Moses that appeared on the transfiguration, though he had been buried by God on the mountain. The likes of Elijah that was taken by the whirlwind and was taken to heaven but still appeared on the transfiguration the likes of john the revelator whom jesus hints to peter and says this one will remain alive until i come back he lives in another dimension besides the realm of his everlasting book of revelation the dimension of the superior spirits of god and the many realms that exist in the spirit as i pray right now it is also your opportunity that you give your life to jesus christ i command your eyes to be opened in the spirit right now Tap into the another realm in the spirit. Tap into another dimension in the spirit. Be uplifted your rank in the spirit. And in the name of Jesus, be given authority to live in another dimension that is not of this flesh, that no man of the flesh, no carnal man can manipulate in the spirit and in the physical, in the name of Jesus. People of God, I hope someone has understood this presentation. 
Until next time, have a great blessed day.